Hello my dear crafters, today I am going to teach you how to make this beautiful Halloween gift but it's a gift for all year long really, it's a post-it note and you just create this kind of a wallet and a very nice look you add this little pen here which is absolutely perfect for this and there you are I just wanted to show you that this can be because I'm making different uh, different ideas with different seasons because this is something that you can make all year long this one is for Christmas it's going to my craft fair and the difference is that I added a ribbon but then I realized it really doesn't need one because it stays so nice and I, I just decided I was I was not going to do that anymore so today we're going to make this one together because it is Halloween time and the craft fair that I'm, I have two craft fairs and one will be before Halloween so I'm going to make some Halloween and I wanted to share with you so you can make it yourself very quick very easy you know I, I don't do very long and complicated things I don't make them <laughs> I do but not here believe me I make some that takes me months because I do miniature things but for a year I just want to bring something that you can do and do you know mass produce and make on during the weekend and just have some fun with it so there you are notebook with a post-it note let's move to the tutorial so this is what you're going to need. I use three different papers because as you see here, you're going to have the paper that is the base, so the red in this case. You also mat in front and on the back, so you need two for here. Do you need to mat it? No, but I like it because I think it, make, it makes it more sturdy. But if you're using a very, very thick cardstock, just use one layer on, on the front, okay? So that's personal preference. Do whatever is better for you. But I'm going to use these three. This is going to be the base, and I'm going to mat with these two. This is going to be in front and matting with this. So we begin. Oh, and also I'm going to use, this is from Echo Park, this uh, stamp set here called, called I Love Halloween. This is from last year, but I'm sure you can find it. Echo Park, and I just, uh, I just used this stamp here, Trick or Treat. I stamped it on a piece of paper and cut a square. And the other one that I'm using is a little kit that I've had from last year too. It's by Coco Rosa. I'll have a link if I find it. But I wanted to have small items that were Halloween related. So I'm going to use this little lady here, the lady flying, right there she is. So yeah, just in case you want to find it. And the paper that we're using is this one, Midnight Garden. That's by Recollection. It's a beautiful paper that's from last year as well. So I'm sure you'll find it online by Recollections called Midnight Garden. It's a gorgeous paper pad and I had a lot of leftover and I have this one too that I'm just going to use the leftover. I never throw these things away because for a corner and that's what we're going to do, I could reuse it. So I've already cut the paper. I'll give you all the dimensions but remember that I always have it down below on the description, okay? So, oh no, in the description, I guess. <laughs> so anyway, you're going to need these pieces of paper. And as I showed you, I had three. One for matting, this one here, and this goes in front. And this is the base. So the base is seven and three eighths by three and a quarter. And we have two mattings here. And you might be asking, why is this one bigger than this one? Let me show you why. Because you need... When you, when you fold this here, see the back is longer than the front. So it's two different sizes here, okay? This is bigger than this, and you can see why here. So that's why it's bigger. So the big one, which is the back, is three, the mat, okay? The mat is three by three and a quarter, and the front part, it's three by two and three quarters three by two and three quarters. This one, which is the front, you're going to have three by two and seven eighths. That's the matting. And the front is two and three quarters by two and five eighths. Two and three quarters by two and five eighths. It's all down below. Let's not waste time with that, okay? So let's do the scoring. It's very simple and I love to make this because it's kind of magical in a way. So I'm gonna have it very close so you can see it well find my stylus here. So we're going to score at three and one eighth of an inch. 
I use the smaller one. So three and one eighth of an inch. It's three scoring lines. Three and a half. So it's the distance here is one, two, three. So three and one eighth, three and a half, and three and seven eighths of an inch. Okay. Oh, so the distance here is three. Here is three eighths of an inch. So that's all you need. We're done. <laughs> Now it's just make it make it happen. So here's the thing. We have three lines. The middle one we're going to fold it like this. Right in the middle and you're going to have a difference here but that's that's what's supposed to be. And we're going to calculate where you need you want your pen to go right here in the middle. So I would cut like here and here. I eyeball it. I would say all the way to the scoring line. See this score line here? You fold it in half and you're just gonna snip it. This is like a, a wind, uh, like one inch. So you have all the, all the cutting done and here's what you do. You hold the paper with your finger. You're going to push this your way like this and the other two back like that. You see, like this. So you push it up, push this out and this, and you're going to just fold it. Fold it in half, and that's what you have, and you're done. So this is basically the side. Very important. I don't know how many times I've made this mistake. So you're going to see that this side here is bigger, remember? I showed you. So this side here is three and a half, and this side here is three and one eighth of an inch. Why? Because we're going to put glue here and here. Forget this, this has to be loose because it's going to show on the other side, this has to be loose. So on this part here, let me show you close by so you can, it's easy because it's white, this is not easy. So let me push this out so it's easier for you to see. If you fold it, so this is going to be glued on the back. So here's how you do that. I'm going to zoom in so you'd see better. Don't put any glue in here, okay? It's just the second part here, the second fold, the top and the bottom. And what I do, I think it's easier, is I just fold it and I press it down. You can use a bone folder, just a little bit. And we're done. So now we're gonna pop this. It's like magic, see? Do the same thing, we just pressed it out. Remember when we did it in the beginning, and there you are. So all you need to do is just, I'm just going to burnish here to make it easier, and there you go. You have your base. How easy was that? So we're gonna have this beautiful pen here. Anyway, so that, now all we need to do is embellish, okay? So here is what I'm gonna do. This is the front, and let me show you. If you want to add, remember I showed you that one I added the ribbon? You don't need to because this is more like a table thing, so I would just leave it like this, and it also, you know, saves a lot of time. So I'm gonna do this one without the ribbon, but if you do want your ribbon, and that's your decision, you're going to put make sure to put the ribbon now, and then you're going to cover it with this, okay? Don't forget, very important. Put now that piece of ribbon here, a piece of ribbon there, and then you're going to cover with the paper. But I'm not gonna do that, so. But I wanted to give you this tip, because that's the kind of thing that we forget. And believe me, even if you're a, a seasoned <laughs> paper crafter like me, you still forget sometimes. That's just life. There you go. So that's the matting just to make it, it does make it pop, I think it makes a difference. I'm gonna do the other one too. Since we're matting, we're gonna mat everything. Let me move this. So always remember to put a lot of glue on the edges because you don't want it to come off. Is that like this, like this, like this. So see how much bigger this is? But now it's perfect. Because our, uh, the general idea that we think that, oh, this is square, so it's going to be two squares. No, this one is longer because, just because. I showed you why. <laughs> so there we go. And I need, oh, I'm going to decorate this first. 
So my idea was to use these three pieces of leftovers from last year. So I'm going to put a little bit of uh, like this maybe. Oh, like this. Perfect. I'm going to cut this. Just put a little bit of um, spider web. Nothing, nothing speaks uh, Halloween more than spider webs. So I think this is good enough. Let me get this out of the way. I'm just, yay, cool. That's going to be cute. So I'm not a Halloween person, but I do have fun seeing people on the streets having fun and all dressed up. I used to like it, though, when I was a teenager, I guess. When I was here, because I lived here for a few years when I, when I was a teenager. But in Brazil, we don't have it, so that's why I think I'm not into it. So I can either, either put this little lady here, but I want to use this too. What do you think? Um, I'm, I'm just going to forget the lady. Sorry, lady. You're gone. Maybe I can make it. Just thinking that maybe here. Yay. Yeah, perfect. And I put some uh, double foam, foam adhesive on the back just to make it pop. That's what we're going to do. Going to get this all peeled. I love this stamp set. I love this trick or treat. It's so perfect for Halloween. There you go. So I think that's nice. I don't think we need the lady. It's a little too much, isn't it? Yeah, it's a small space. So there we go. We're going to finish. See? I think the matting really makes a difference. My best friend, the bone folder. There you go. Some glue here, get it out. And we're done. Then we're, all we need to do is just add the pan and it's so quick guys and I always say this here but I am I think uh, I never know who is watching so I repeat things. If you're mass producing, cut the paper first, do the scoring late after that. Otherwise, if you make one by one, on the third one, you can't do it anymore because it's so repetitive. So it's better to just cut everything, glue everything, fold fold everything, score everything, and then you're done. Oh, here's what we're I was going to forget. The paper pad. <laughs> Post-it note. This is a three by three, by the way, just so you know. How great a gift is this? So like this, so I'm going to... Put it right here, aligned. I like to press it to the left a little bit just to make sure that it's in the right place. If we have some wiggle room of paper here. And let's finish with my beautiful pen. Should be orange. Do I have an orange? Oh, I'm gonna use an orange. I think it pops, it will pop more because of the sticker. Not the sticker, the stamped image. There you go. I think this one is nicer. Come on. Just pass it through. There you go. Oh my goodness, look at that. How cute is this? I love it. Very easy to do. All the all the dimensions are in scoring and all the directions will be on my uh, description below. So I hope you enjoyed it. Great gift for Halloween. I hope you make a whole bunch of these. Everybody loves post-it notes. Thank you so much and have a great day.